Hey students, welcome back to Diksha Vedanto English Channel. This is Suhas, your chemistry master teacher. Students, in this video, we discuss top 15 PYQs from metals and non-metals for your board exams. We know students from metals and non-metals, we expect 10 marks for your board exam. Come on, watch this video till end. In within 15 minutes, we discuss all PYQs, important PYQs, important repeated PYQs. Everyone want 100% question rise? Come on, let's discuss. Yes, let's discuss. Okay. Let's move for the first question. The first question is, it is a 2022 question students. Choose the correct option on placing a copper coin in test tube containing green ferrous sulphate solution. It will absorb that a ferrous sulphate solution. Turns blue and a gray substance is deposited. Turns colorless, turns colorless, remains green with no change in the copper coin. The answer is option D, right? Why? Because what happens students? Compared to here, copper is placed in the green ferrous sulphate. Compared to iron, copper is less reactive. I hope it's Clear. Let's move for the second question. Give reason why. It's a 2022 questions. Okay. 2020. I hope 2020. Gold and silver are used for making jewelry. Why? Gold and silver are called as an inert metal. Gold and silver are inert in nature. Inert in nature is nothing but it never reacts with oxygen. Right? That's why. Second one. A few metals are used for making cooking utensils because metals are good conductor of heat. The metals are good conductor of heat. That is the answer. I hope it's clear, students, everyone. Let's move for the third question. The third question is, compare in tabular form the activity, the reactivity of the following metals with cold and hot water in tabular column. 2020 paper, 2020 question, important, students. The previous year questions are very, very important. Let's start with sodium. Whenever sodium is react with water, na, it's healed NaOH, right? It yield NaOH with H2 uh, hydrogen gas, right? NaOH, it yield NaOH, okay, sodium hydrogen as it uh, react with to form NaOH. Then magnesium oxide with hydrogen gas. As hey, students, please mention the, please check once ba the reaction is balanced or Na is clear. What about oxygen is clear? Oh, 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 hydrogen is, how many numbers is there? That's why two, two. Now oxygen becomes two, two, are four. As now it's, I think two, two, ah, yes, it's, now it's clear. It is, reacts vigorously with cold water. What's about next one? Calcium. Calcium also forms CaOH2. Calcium hydroxide. And also it less vigorously compared to sodium. Less vigorously with cold water. What's about uh, magnesium? Magnesium hydroxide. MgOH2. It is react with hot water. Whenever we heat the compound. Now, whenever we heat the magnesium and uh, water compound, it react with water. Magnesium react with water in hot condition. Okay, I hope it's clear. One second, students. Yes, let's move for the next question. Okay, if you have any doubt, let me know in comment section first. Okay, next question. What is the next question? It's a uh, 2021 question. I hope it's in 2020. Sorry, 2019 question. Generally, when metals are treated with mineral acids, hydrogen gas is liberated. Absolutely. But when metals expect manganese and magnesium are treated with HNO3, hydrogen is not liberated. Why? Because HNO3 is a strong, reduce, not a reducing agent, strong oxidizing agent. Whenever we treat now, instead of releasing, releasing hydrogen gas, it releases nitrous gas, NO2 gases, blue, uh, not in blue frame. Which flame is green? Let me know in comment section. Which flame? NO2. Yes. I hope it's clear because HNO3 is a strong reducing agent. Expect manganese and magnesium, it never react with other molecule. It never react with not an other molecule, never react with other metals. Expect manganese and man magnesium because... HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. Right, students? It forms an NO2. Next question. Next question is compound X and aluminium are used to join railway tracks. What is the identify the compound? Iron oxide, right? Fu2O3. Iron oxide is the compound. Name the reaction. It's an aluminium thermite or thermite reaction. Aluminotherapy. Aluminothermy, right? Aluminothermy reaction. It is also called as a thermite reaction. Why? Because some iron, some iron, okay, some compound we cannot reduce by using coke. Instead of coke, we use aluminium. And also, this is a highly hexothermic reaction. In this process, heat energy is liberated. Hugerous, huge, not a humorous, huge amount of heat energy is related. Here, release this. That's why we use this reaction. We use this method or this preparation. This method used to join the railway tracks. 
the metal extracted from the this process or in molten state right students as yes, super next question guys what are the constituent of soldier what tin and lead okay tin and lead what's about that which property of soldier makes it suitable for welding electrical wise it has a low melting point it has a low melting point compared to original tin it is an alloy what are alloy it is a mixture of metals and metals or metals and non metals right students what are alloys let me know metals and metals mixture and metals and non metal mixture and also in comment section i want one answer which answer the question is give one example for metal and metal alloy metal and non metal alloy in the comment section super next question seventh question name one metal and one non metal that exist in the liquid state at room room temperature oh my god which metal exist in the uh, liquid state at room temperature non metal let me know non metal is bromine metal is mercury right super mercury and bromine what's about next and also also name two metals having a melting point less than 310k very easy gallium and cesium ce right cesium yes ce gallium and cesium these are the metals have a low melting point we know according to physical property metals are odd in nature metals have a high metals are a good conductor of heat or it has a high tendency to heat right students we can easily heat the metals and it has a high boiling point or melting point not a boiling point melting point for solid substance we write it melting point we write a melting point for liquid one we write a boiling point don't confuse here okay don't confuse melting point is refers to solid compound boiling point is refers to melt uh liquid compound so okay students mercury and bromine this one is gallium and cesium these are the competency based questions i pick this questions for you guys if you solve this question now you can easily answer 10 marks you can easily get 10 marks for your board exam okay next question Eighth one. Write the electron dot structure of calcium at atomic number. They only give an oxygen. Calcium. What is the valency? Calcium valency is plus two. Eighteen. Eighteen is present, right? Now, uh, which atom is present? Eighteen. Helium argon, right? Helium argon. Helium or neon argon. Argon and another two electrons is there. It contains. Uh, it consists two electrons in its valence electron valence shell. And uh, what oxygen? This is an valency, and also second question: What they give show the formation of calcium oxide by transferring electrons. This electron is transferred here, and to form. Okay, let's try it. This one is. Okay. This is an formation, CaO formation. Okay, I hope it's clear. Name the ions present in the compound. Ions, which ions present here? Ca two plus ion and O two minus ions. Cation and anion. list four important character of this compound these compounds also called as an ionic compound first property these compounds have an high melting point and boiling point these are having high mp and boiling point and what's about second one these are good conductor of electricity at their molten state and also these forms a very strong bond third one and what is the fourth one let me know in comment section okay i hope it's clear it's a very important 2020 question paper students please concentrate okay second question why is potassium kept immersed in kerosene why because potassium and sodium are highly reactive metals these are hard potassium is an highly reactive metal it has a high tendency or high affinity is reacted with oxygen and it catches a fire if we put if we put sodium in open surface it react with oxygen present in the atmosphere and forms an potassium oxide and it releases huge amount of heat and also heat catches fire that's why we always immerse potassium and kerosene not in kerosene sorry potassium and sodium in kerosene very important question two marks definitely definitely students please concentrate please note on this question it's an 100% question okay next question i think 10th one carbon cannot reduce the oxides of sodium magnesium aluminum to their respective metals why because carbon is an affinity highly affinity to these metals these are highly reactive metals than the carbon why because these are highly reactive metals than carbon 
highly reactive metals these are highly reactive metals or it has an high reactivity in metals okay then where are these metals placed in the reactivity series these metals are placed in high reactivity series right high reactive metals in top of the series how are these metals are obtained from there or take an example very simple if we obtain ore na we need to treat highly reactive or we need to it is by using electrolytic reduction sorry by using electrolytic reduction method you need to give by and explain this by example okay i hope it's clear next question what is the next question name the following let's name the following everyone come on fast name the following metals that can be in knife sodium metal sodium lithium lustrous non metal iodine metal that exist in liquid uh, state at room temperature mercury most malleable and ductile gold gold is a most malleable and ductile metal okay students next question 12th question what could students report me near after the 30 minutes of placing du duly cleaning strips of aluminium copper iron and zinc in freshly prepared iron sulfate iron aluminium copper iron and zinc zinc and aluminium replaces iron changes the color of iron in the iron sulfate why zinc on aluminium sorry this is one al sorry students zinc and aluminium compared to iron it is an highly reactive metal that's why it replaces the metal in the metal solution okay then uh, a b c d let's take an a b c d in a b a and b a and d zinc is there a and d reaction is happened b and c never the reaction is happened why compared to iron iron cannot replace iron only right and also zinc uh, copper copper is less reactive or least reactive compared to iron that's all students that's all next move for the next question draw a schematic schematic diagram of the various steps involved in the extraction of metals from ore for metals of medium reactivity and metals of low reactivity okay ore metals of medium reactivity metals of le least reactivity it's obtained in two form sulfide form this one is oxide form simply heat this compound metal is obtained then what about this by using calcination process by using calcination process sulfide forms is converted into oxide forms then by using reducing agent metal reducing agent like coco that one let's move for this it's obtained in three form sulfide forms carbonate forms oxide forms oxide forms so by using carbohydrate uh, reducing agent metal what's about here and here sulfide form by using calcination we heat the compound in the presence of oxygen okay sufficient amount of oxygen high amount of oxygen here only limited amount of oxygen okay just only here more here less okay limited amount but it, it is called roast sorry not in calcination it is roasting right this is roasting this is calcination don't confuse uh, between roasting and calcination calcination is nothing but carbon is there carbonate is converted into oxide ore roasting is nothing but sulfur is converted into oxide ore very simple okay then oxide ore is obtained same by using reducing agent we obtain the metal that's all next question guys describe an activity to find the condition under which iron rust we take a b c d test tubes in test tube in one test tube only three test tube not in only three only three guys only three only three test tube we need to take it's an important question please note on this one test tube only one uh, iron metal with water only water iron metal with water with hair uh, sorry with oil and iron metal with only cacl2 cacl2 absorb moisture of the air that's all moisture of the air it only absorb the moisture or moisture of air it is this experiment last question why do some metal surface acquire dull appearance why they are exposed to moist air because rusting is happen metals react with oxygen to form metal oxide that's why write the color acquired by the surface of copper and silver copper which color silver is a black color right it's a green color copper or green color why it form copper oxide cu plus o2 is equal to cuo what's about sulfur sulfide ag plus s is equal to ag2s 2ag here 2 here 2 that's all this to is happen i hope it's clear if you have any doubt let me know in comment section and also students please do not forget to attend the comment homework questions homework questions in the comment section and also please do not forget to like share subscribe the channel 
for more updates thank you so much for watching the video till end and if you have any doubt let me know in comment section bye take care stay tuned with your bye bye bye